Hello, we're going to talk about a fascinating idea today, the invisible energies that commonplace objects contain. I would like you to interact with us by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. Before we get started, with your help, we can reach a wider audience and spread ideas that have the potential to change lives. Join us in acknowledging the cosmos that surrounds us for a minute. Your encouragement not only boost our morale, but also help us to achieve the goals we have set for ourselves. Have you ever stopped to think about the potential subtle energy effects that the things we use on a daily basis may have on our lives? Consider how carefully we handle personal hygiene products like toothbrushes in the same way. There's more thought to be given to the spiritual energy infused in the object. Wet read these items contain energy that while sometimes obvious have an impact on our lives, such forces have been acknowledged throughout history by a multitude of cultures, it is no Skui in Chinese culture, Prana Indian culture and Mani in Polynesian traditions. Although this energy is neutral by nature, interactions and surroundings can influence it giving it the ability to take on good or bad manifestations. This energy flows through objects having an effect on those who come into contact with everyday objects such as your phone, wallet and clothes, all contain energy in one way or another. Treasured family artifact may contain the good intentions of generations past, whereas a used object may still carry the scars of its previous owner. Knowing this, we may ensure that these items have a beneficial impact on our lives. By reviving and purifying their energies is a useful technique for removing negative energy from objects. We can clear any lingering negativity from the item by burning and letting its purifying smoke surround it. On the other hand, exposing items to the light of the sun or moon can naturally cleanse and rejuvenate their energy. Resetting the energy balance of an object can also be accomplished with tools like singing bowls or tuning forks. Intention is everything we may greatly enhance an object's energy by envisioning it filled with light and stating that it serves our highest good. There is an energy exchange involved in the giving and receiving of presents. Giving presente that are infused with loving energy and good intentions guarantees that the receiver will experience these good vibes in a similar way. We should not underestimate the energy in our homes. Everything in them adds to the overall energetic vibe. Keeping our surroundings clean of clutter and filled with things that uplift us might assist to promote a pleasant energy flow, including organic components like plants and water features can improve and harmonize the energy in our houses. Even more, it's crucial to keep in mind that secondhand and antique goods could have energies from their prior owners or experiences. It is imperative that these things be thoroughly cleaned to avoid any bait effects on our lives. Resetting their energies can be achieved by methods like submerging them in a salt water bath, burying them for a short while, or using them as focal centers during meditation through developing a heightened awareness of the energies in our environment. We can foster a more balanced and satisfying existence by taking the effort to cleanse and charge items that we can make sure that they are in line with our good goals and promote positivity and a greater sense of well-being in our surrounding. Mirrors have far deeper meaning in spiritual traditions across the globe than just serving as useful platforms for reflection. Mirrors are generally seen as more than just pieces of metal and glass. They are seen to be windows that can open doors between the material and spiritual worlds. Regardless of cultural or religious beliefs, mirrors are believed in spiritual practices to have the special capacity to both reflect and absorb energies from the spiritual and material realms. According to this theory, mirrors pick up energy from the people and places they encounter. In addition to reflecting our outward looks, mirrors in homes have the capacity to absorb large amounts of energy over time, which may have an impact on the dynamics and ambience of living areas. The idea that mirrors may absorb both positive and bad energies is another aspect of their spiritual meaning. This point of view highlights how crucial it is to handle and choose mirrors carefully, especially if they have historical significance or are connected to unpleasant situations or occurrences. Mirrors with tumultuous backgrounds are thought to have the ability to bring bad energies into one's home, which can affect the atmosphere as a whole as well as the health of the occupant. Therefore, while collecting or installing mirrors in living places, it is vital to consider not only their visual appeal, but also their spiritual resonance. 
Mirrors, especially antique ones, are generally advised to undergo cleaning rituals in order to remove any leftover energy they could contain. These ceremonies may include techniques like smudging with sage, saying, chants of purification or making intentions that are constructive by resetting the energetic field of the mirror. These techniques hope to create a more peaceful and spiritually encouraging environment at home. Other things beyond mirrors are said to hold great energetic weight and should be handled carefully in spiritual practices. These objects could be crystals, holy relics, or commonplace materials like salt. Each has a unique spiritual and historical value. Examining these items, spiritual ramifications, helps people comprehend how they might affect the energetic atmosphere in their homes. Mirrors, for instance, have historically represented spiritual knowledge and introspection. In a variety of civilizations, they have been employed in rituals and ceremonies to enhance spiritual insights and relationships. In addition to practical uses, similar to this, salt has long been valued for its cleansing qualities, which are said to guard against bad energy and cleanse. Studying these spiritual objects fosters an understanding of their underlying significance as well as a considerate attitude toward their placement and use in day-to-day -day activities. People can build situations in their homes and personal spaces that support harmony, happiness, and spiritual well-being. By recognizing and honoring the spiritual value of mirrors and other artifacts for thousands of years, people have been captivated by mirrors, which are more than just reflective surfaces. They have deep cultural and spiritual connotations. Mirrors are valued in many cultures for their mystical qualities, which extend beyond their utilitarian use. It is thought that they can disclose hidden truths, establish connections with other realms, and even capture the essence of spirits and souls. This idea emphasizes the reverence and caution that should be shown when handling old and antique mirrors. These mirrors are said to hold on to the emotional and spiritual energies of their previous owners, in addition to their physical reflections, which can affect the energetic dynamics of a room. Spiritual tradition adherence frequently stress the value of energetic cleansing procedures when thinking about incorporating an antique or used mirror into their homes. The purpose of these ceremonies is to rid the mirror of any lingering energy that might disturb the environment's balance or have an adverse effect on the resident's mental and spiritual health. Purification techniques differ greatly based on personal beliefs and cultural timbre. Customs common methods include employing sound vibrations from instruments like singing bowls or bells to harmonize the aura of the mirror, sprinkling it with holy herbs like sage to eliminate negative energies, and engaging in intent ion setting and prayer rituals to instill the mirror with positive energy. Another commonplace item with profound spiritual meaning is salt, which is essential to cleansing and defense rites worldwide. In addition to its culinary uses, salt is thought to have special qualities that let it absorb and neutralize bad energy, forming barriers that keep evil forces at bay. This idea that salt has purifying properties emphasizes its usage in rituals meant to rid places, things, and people of unsightly influences or spiritual impurities. Practitioners should be aware, though, that salt has the ability to absorb energy from people or its surroundings, which could reduce its effectiveness. As a spiritual tool, many purification rites are used to preserve the potency and purity of salt for spiritual purposes. In order to ground and balance its energies, these ceremonies may entail burying salt in the ground, exposing it to the moon's purifying light, replenish its spiritual potency, or washing it with water that has been ceremoniously charged with blessings or good intentions. Salt is a powerful symbol of purity and protection in spiritual ceremonies and these actions are meant to reset its energetic vibrations. In some summary, knowing the spiritual significance of commonplace objects like salt and mirrors provides insights into the invisible forces that mold our spiritual and material surroundings through careful, respectful, and thoughtful handling of these items. People can create environments that foster spiritual development, emotional health, and energetic balance. Mirrors and salt are physical portals to the spiritual world that provide chances for both individual and group spiritual growth, whether they are utilized for self-examination and spiritual insight, 
or for cleansing and protection rituals. Including these activities enriches our understanding of ourselves and our oneness, the spiritual cosmos, as well as strengthens our connection to spiritual energy. One common object that might have a significant impact on our spiritual and energy well-being is a mattress. We let lay close to our mattresses for several hours each night, making them incredibly personal items. Mattresses hold on to the energies, feelings, and even dreams of the individuals who sleep on them over time. These absorbed energy can be anything from joyful and serene, tense and depressing. Sleeping on an old mattress, especially one whose past is unknown, may expose you to this residual energy. This exposure may cause unusual nightmares, difficulty falling asleep, or uneasiness all around. Similar problems are often encountered in hotels where the energy of multiple visitors can lead to a hectic environment and less peaceful sleep. I, if purchasing a new mattress is out of the question, you can still purify the mattress by cleaning it with salt, covering it with crystals that protect it, such as black to malignoramath store, letting it sit in the sun to dispel negative energy. Wallets and purses have symbolic meaning that we frequently ignore in favor of using them for their intended function. These objects do, however, have great symbolic meaning since they hold our money, which is energy manifested in material form. Wallets and purses eventually absorb their owner's financial energies and experiences. Financial triumphs or failures of the previous owner may be carried by a used wallet or pocketbook, which may have an effect on the new owner. As such, it is crucial to proceed with caution when purchasing such things from third parties. Used wallets and handbags should be spiritually cleansed to make sure no leftover negative energy is attached to them. To accomplish this and draw money and prosperity, you can either burn incense, put them in a bowl of salt, or recite certain prayers or affirmation. Although locks are sometimes disregarded in discussions of spiritually charged objects, they have important energy and symbolic connotations. Locks are employed in many traditions for binding and releasing energy during ceremonies, in addition to their obvious utility as security devices. It can be dangerous to accept a lock from someone if you don't know anything about its past or the intentions of the former. It's possible that the lock was employed in rituals to restrain someone's prosperity or good fortune, which could have brought those constructive forces into your life. It is advisable to either avoid using a used lock or clean it thoroughly if you come into possession of one. Especially in unclear circumstances, these practices can involve saying affirmations, applying oils to the lock, praying or using holy water to wash away. Any bad energy that could be associated with it, a peaceful and safe spiritual atmosphere, can be maintained. By being aware of the spiritual meaning of locks and taking action, to make sure they support your intentions. It's intriguing and useful to consider the potential spiritual significance of commonplace items. Although they may appear insignificant things like locks, wallets, purses and mattresses, and have a significant effect on our mental and spiritual well-being. For instance, mattresses are incredibly intimate objects that absorb the energy of each person who sleeps on them. If the energy is negative or the mattress has been used by someone whose background you are unaware of, this could result in a number of problems. Easy purification techniques can help rid a mattress of any bad energy, transforming it into a more uplifting force in your life. Similarly, the financial energy that our wallets and purses hold can also have a spiritual impact on us. A former owner's financial energy can remain in a wallet or handbag that has belonged to someone else, and that energy may not always be beneficial spiritually. Purifying these objects can assist in getting rid of any residual bad energy so that they only bring good financial energy into your life. This exercise emphasizes how important it is to consider the things we use on a regular basis and how they could affect our health even though they are frequently disregarded. Locks have important spiritual ramifications. Locks can contain the intentions and energies of their past owners and are used in a variety of ceremonies to bind or release energy. If you accept a lock without researching its background, you may attract negative energy into your life. A used lock can be made to align with your wishes and be free of any negative energy from its past. By cleaning it through spiritual practices, we can utilize locks to preserve a healthy spiritual atmosphere. 
In addition to providing physical security by being aware of their spiritual importance, even though we frequently take these commonplace objects for granted, they have a significant impact on our mental and spiritual health. Locks, wallets, purses, and mattresses are all capable of transmitting and carrying energy. We can make sure they contribute good energy into our lives by realizing their importance and taking action to purify them. This exercise improves our general sense of serenity and security, while also preserving our spiritual well-being. In order to create a more harmonic and balanced environment in our homes and lives, it might be helpful to recognize and appreciate the energy that commonplace objects can hold. Locks are a common symbolic item used in love ceremonies. Couples attach the locks to bridges and then ceremoniously destroy the keys. This gesture represents their unshakable devotion and enduring commitment to one another. These customs are meant to preserve the timeless quality of their life. But there's more to it than just a sentimental gesture. A deeper spiritual component. Couples goals and feelings are infused into the locks, which can have profound spiritual meaning and occasionally exhibit unexpected energy. For example, a lock that has been carried through turbulent times or negatively altered may have discordant energies that unintentionally impact the relationship it represents. This demonstrates a deep truth. Even images of harmony and love can hold invisible energy that have a subtle impact on our lives. We expose ourselves to the energy that such symbolic objects, whether positive or negative, carry when we allow them into our lives. These energies possess the ability to subtly impact our spiritual and emotional journeys. It emphasizes how crucial it is to approach symbolic gestures mindfully, because they have a profound effect on our relationships both personally and spiritually. When we look more closely at commonplace items like salt and mirrors, we can see their important spiritual functions. Mirrors both reflect and absorb energy from their surroundings. In addition to reflecting physical pictures, it is claimed in spiritual practices that mirrors, depending on how they are used, and the energetic imprints they gather can enhance energy. Whether positive or negative in a similar vein, salt is shyly valued for its cleansing properties throughout civilizations, able to both absorb and balance out energetic imbalances while holding on to the memories of individuals who have come into contact with it. These illustrations show how even seemingly insignificant items can contain strong spiritual energy that alter the dynamics and atmosphere of our surroundings. Choosing the things and people we let into our lives with awareness becomes crucial to establishing a spiritually supportive atmosphere. This approach is based on creating environments that promote our spiritual development and general well-being rather than on paranoia. It entails designing spaces where our spiritual alignment can improve our standard of living. In conclusion, we can create surroundings that support spiritual well-being by acknowledging and appreciating the spiritual meaning of commonplace items. By recognizing and honoring the energies found in items such as salt, locks and mirrors, we help to create calm and spiritually enlightening environments. In addition to enhancing our individual experiences, this awareness promotes mindfulness and spiritual growth in our communities. Investigating the significant effects of spiritual energy contained in everyday objects offers insightful perspectives on our spiritual development. In order to improve our relationships and general quality of life, we promote inquiry in depth comprehension and the sharing of personal experiences. In order to jointly create a society that values spiritual consciousness and embraces positive energy. As we come to the end of our investigation of the spiritual energy found in commonplace objects, don't forget to practice awareness when interacting with them through recognition of their invisible impact. We can cultivate surroundings that promote our spiritual development and welfare. We appreciate your presence here. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment below with your thoughts. Together, let's continue our quest to comprehend and utilize positive energies in our daily lives.